This is Sims, and we are back with more of the Sims 4 House Rules, which is our Harry Potter Legacy Challenge. I'm trying to follow Noir around, but every single time I get to a thing, he turns around. Like, <laughs> he just... He's like, no! It's all look at me! No looking! Anyway, who's calling you? Yeah, sure, an answer. Um, Let's go into... Modifying cast. And we will check out because Noir and Futaba aged up in the last part. And then they got makeover. So we can look at them. Anyway. Look at you, precious. Anyway, where are you? There's Noir. All right. So these are baby Yusuke's. Our little baby Yusuke's. So. Here he is. Okay. So, but he's a social butterfly, but a loner. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? I kind of legit understand that because I'm a loner. I don't like talking to people. And yet when I'm around people, I can be a social butterfly. And then I get home and I curl up in a ball. and I'm like, <laughs> I had to deal with people and I don't like it. But anyway, so there we go. I think you only have one every day. Over. Yeah, because you don't, we're short lifespan. So, da, 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 you know, He's a little more artsy. Even though he's not the artsy child, but he's Yusuke's child, so, you know. Mm. And then his athletic wear. They both have Galileo's ears, though, like him and uh, Morgana. His sleepwear. His party outfit. His swimwear. He's got his hot weather outfit. He likes, he's got like his moon glasses and his like stars and moons earrings usually. And then his hot weather outfit, which is, I mean, it's cold weather outfit. <laughs> meant his warm clothes. I do that all the time. Like, I know it's cold weather, but I think it's their warm clothes. So for some reason, my brain goes hot weather. Like, no, his warm clothes for his cold weather outfit. Anyway. Um, but yeah, like, so he's always got, like, some kind of, like, stars or moon earrings to go with his, like, moon cat ears. Which is, okay, funny, I know, I get it. He's got moon and start cat ears and Morgana is, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> it's just fun. And then we have little baby Futaba, who's a gamer, which is actually kind of fucking perfect for her, not gonna lie. So, here we go. She's also got the Galileo ears. Um... Well, there we go. That's her everyday outfit. This is her formal wear. She's got her sleepy wear. Her party wear. Her swim wear. With her cat glasses. <laughs> uh, her cute little, like, uh, hot weather outfit. Her little duck dress. And then her cold weather outfit. Which is just fucking adorable and she's fucking adorable of course she's fucking adorable because Galileo and Yusuke are her fucking parents um, so we'll see if she grows up with a chin because all my female sims grow up with no chin and all my male sims age up well when they age up to a toddler are usually at the fattest end of the spectrum I don't know why the game does this it's like fucking weird so but, like, literally, my female sims always age up with absolutely no fucking chin, and it's kind of annoying. So. We'll see. I don't think we did too bad with this one, with the chins or no chins. I think they all had sort of chins. I don't remember. But, at any rate... Whoa, whoa, what are we doing? Oh, okay. Whoops. All right. So, now you have two lovely siblings. Well, you're And you're unpopular and artistic. You also have star earrings, but it's okay. I still do. You're adorable. And you're fucking adorable. Our kids are all adorable. Ugh. It's gonna be hard, though, to choose who the heir is, because they're not all related. I mean, they're all related to Galileo. That's the important part. You know what I mean? Um. Your son did kind of get your introvertedness, didn't he? You're an extreme introvert, though. You are literally me. Like, I don't know how to talk to people. And yet... When I'm around people, I can absolutely talk to people, but it's still weird. You always second guess yourself. You're just dancing on the stairs. Why are you sad? We're toys. Huh? <gasps> Greedy child. She's fucking adorable, though. Anyway. 
Who ages up next and when? Oh, God, who ages up tomorrow? <gasps> oh, my God, all of them age up tomorrow. Oh, my God, are we going to get in a situation where they all die together? I mean, like, probably. Holy shit. And then Futaba ages up on Wednesday. And then Morgan on Thursday. <laughs> and then Noir on Saturday. Wow, this is a week of birthdays. Holy shit. Well, our boys are aging up tomorrow, amazingly enough. <laughs> You're all going to be adults. I mean, welcome to the adult club. It's depressing. I know. It does suck. Whoo! All right. Let's see. What are we doing? My birthday parties. Can you, uh, can you bring your friends and family if you want? Well, you mean your family? I mean, I guess we can take all the kids with us except for Futaba I guess we can't take her but maybe that's because Akira doesn't know her you live in the house with her and you're kind of like her third dad you're like her stepdad like Yusuke and Galileo are her dads and Akira's like her stepdad so like and Morgana Yusuke is like a stepdad <laughs> this is my stepdad this is my dad and that's my other dad so like is your dad married to your step no 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 <laughs> huh. We can't even get into this club, can we? Oh, wait, maybe we can. I don't know. Can we? <laughs> Set fame requirement. Can we one star? We're not one star celebrities, so we're not going to be able to get in. <laughs> wait, why are you wearing... Oh, no, those are the boots. I didn't have the right boots for him. <laughs> yes. He does. He has the Joker mask on. Uh, it's just the best I could do at the time. I do actually have, because I did find a custom content like outfit that's supposed to be his outfit. It looks just like it, but what is she wearing? Um, but this is what I had at the time. So she is like, okay. Oh, all right. She's glitching because she's got some weird things. We can't actually go in, but I like the fact that he's wearing his fancy outfit. Oh, and his... There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Massage sounds great. We've already seen it. <laughs> Yusuke, because he was the poor man's Yusuke and we didn't really fast, did not have... Also, I don't have a fox tail. We do have ears, though, probably. We could have put that, but... Okay, no, we're not having an author. Oh, oh, you're right. What? Is you okay? Oh my god, take a selfie in this outfit. Take a selfie. Take a selfie, because you look good. Um, yeah, right down there, buddy? Can you get back up? There you go. Good boy. What are we doing? And why am I taking... Why is he taking a selfie of his crotch? Sweetie, the fuck is this? Take a selfie. Like a legit one. Actually, there you go. There you go, sweetie. You know, it'd be funny. We can get you scan the background. <laughs> can we get Akira in the background oh my god we totally look he's totally looks like he's photobombing on purpose that's amazing we're being photobombed by one of our boyfriends there he is in the background <laughs> anybody else can photobomb photobomb with Hermione in the background that's cute That's actually an adorable picture, and I love it. That's a cute picture with her in the background, actually. Wait, is she going to age up to an adult before us? Well, actually, Hermione is younger than us, but we did... No, he wasn't the ever, ever the pregnant one. Oh, he was, actually. He had Futaba. Never mind. He was pregnant, so that's why she's older than him now. Oh, can you two take a photo together? Oh my god, wait a minute. <gasps> wait. Why is he still in his, um... Dresser, change outfit. You're in your hot weather. Why don't you put on your formal wear? And why don't you do the same thing? 
Dresser. Change outfit. Formal wear. And you're over here. Oh! Look at you! I wish you could take photos with your dad. I wish the two of you could take photos together. It's so cute. Um, take a photo with Morgana. Oh, I love them talking to each other. That's so cute. Why can't you take photos together? Yusuke, where are you going? Aha! Choba! Shalba! Barlini Yoru! Oh, oh, your glasses are blocking him, but it's okay. No, we can't fit that there. No, your glasses, your little headband. Maybe we should have Morgana take the photo. But, like, look at how fucking cute Morgana is. I love him so much. <gasps> I do. He's so precious. Okay, let's have Morgana take a photo then. With... He is, like, really angry. Why is he angry? Is he stressed from being around people? Yeah, because he's a loner. <laughs> he's looking at the camera and he's like looking over here. It doesn't even look like he's looking at the camera. The other one. I like the other one better. The one that Noir took. Oh, you can't. Okay, I'm just going to cheat your needs up because we can't actually pee anywhere. Yeah, well, there's nowhere to pee because we can't get into the place because we're not celebrities enough. Can I? Oh, oh. Chat with Yusuke, chat with Morgana. And I mean, we're just hanging out and everybody's just chit chatting with each other, so, like, good enough, I guess. But. He's so beautiful. He's got a lot of Morgan in him. It's like. Oh my god, what is this guy wearing? What is this? You should feel slightly awkward. Who walks around in a banana hammock and a hoodie? Like, actually, that's something Yusuke would do going to the beach, probably. You know. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's terrifying. Oh, <laughs> It's so fun. Look at the oh, the back of that jacket's nice. I like that jacket. I'd wear the shit out of that. Like. Anyway, I don't know. We're just uh, oh 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 oh. Hi, this guy's not good at doing spell casting, is he? No, he just he just disappeared. He just took off. Okay, you're over here feeling inspired. Why don't you um. Goof around. Uh, inspire Hermione. How cute. Your Aunt Hermione. Oh, she pregnant? <gasps> With Jeb Harris! Girl! <sighs> Hermione! I'm kind of excited about that. Thank God for MC Command Center, like, doing shit like that. So, hold on. All right. So, Gilderoy, these are all your children. Yeah, like, nobody else has kids. Severus and Albus. Well, they just age up. But, like, Neville... Well, Regulus will stay around forever, so we don't have to worry about him. But, like, poor Neville never got married, never had kids. Really, Neville? Come on, Neville. We need you. You're beautiful. Have kids. And we're going to look back at some point. Well, she's an elder. She's going to die soon. But, like, we'll I'll look back and Legend will be here. And Evane will be here. Regulus will be here because he's a vampire. Um, I think that's it, though. Right? He's the only one that's a vampire. Well, no. Well, wait. Is she? Because Hermione was Caleb's yeah. daughter, too. Uh -oh. Well, she wouldn't be aging up, though. She wouldn't be aging up. <laughs> Must not be a vampire. 
Oh, she was a spellcaster, wasn't she? I remember. Um, God, sneezing. But aren't we? Isn't he a spellcaster? He is. So you can't do. Hmm. He's not. Sorry, allergies kicking my ass all of a sudden. Like, I was fine for a while, and then all of a sudden they just come on full fledged and it's like non stop sneezing. So, anyway. It sucks because she's not even gonna, she's just gonna age up while we're here. Who's this? Brooklyn Steinweddle. Which looks interesting. She doesn't look like a normal townie because normal townies look fucking ridiculous like this shit. Like, that's. She looks relatively normal. All right, where are you going? Oh, you're going to come over here and talk to this Brooklyn chick. I didn't tell you to. You just decided to talk to her. Genevieve. Uh, I know. We can't get in. It kind of sucks. And this guy's like, no one's coming in here. Because we can't get in. Because we're not celebrities. Is she like the... No. Can we like... I don't think any of us can get in because all of us are like... None of us have any fame at all. I don't think. No. None whatsoever. So, yeah, none of us can get in, but... Whatever, we're just hanging out, chatting, having a grand old time at this birthday party, even though we can't get into the party. <laughs> At least they're getting along, chit chatting. Oh. You know, having a grand old time, talking to each other. As a family. It's like a family chat. Except for you're not here. Why don't you come over here and, uh. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, never mind. I was gonna have you come over too. You can't go in there. What are you doing? Oh, wait, you can't. How'd you get in there? How did you get in? How did you How did you get in? It's supposed to be a fame requirement. Wait. Can you go in there, too? What are you doing? Yusuke's going in. Huh. Oh, the thunder's coming in. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. The thunder was rolling in for like an hour last night. It was so fucking amazing. Last night for me recording them, not you watching it, obviously. But, like, it was just so nice because, like, normally you hear thunder in the distance and you're like, oh, okay, thunder's in the distance. And then, like, nothing ever happens. And then, because it goes around. But this time the thunder's been coming right through. Oh, so nice. I love it. I love thunderstorms. I love them so much. Oh, okay, so we're, we're at the Starlight Accolades, apparently. I mean, okay. But we're also at a birthday party, but... Whatever, where did, uh, what's her face go? Is she still out here? I mean, this is her birthday party, but she's not in here. Maybe she can't get in here. Well, the birthday party's gonna end, and then we're all gonna go home, so. Yusuke is gloomy. Gloomy seems often suffer sadness. Of course they do. I feel you, Yusuke, I do. And there goes Hermione. No, she hasn't left yet. Okay, she's still there. Birthday party's about to end, so we can all go home soon. Good, we can all go home. We don't need to be here for this. Ooh, I love the Here we go. Everybody's going home. Everybody's running home. Where's Akira? Oh, he's already home. You're the last one to get home. No, where are you? Oh, never mind. Okay. I was like, wait. <laughs> like, everyone else went. The only thing bad about that is like, well, I mean, the good thing is, is we're like the epicenter of no weather. The weather kind of goes around us. So like hurricanes, like we'll get some winds and stuff, but we never get really bad. Except for one time. That little fucker was supposed to go out to sea and took, and it was like, okay, it's turning to the right. It's going out to sea. And then at the last second overnight, it took a wild fucking left turn, came straight into us. I had no clue that was happening. I was recording. Power completely went out. I was out with power nine fucking hours. My phone battery was dead because like, I didn't. I wasn't expecting the fucking hurricane to come in. I was like, okay, it's going on to sea. Like, we'll get winds and storm, but like, nope. Nope. Right in. Power was out. There were tornado warnings in the area. I had the birds. At the time, I still had baby bird, but I had them in the fucking guest room, like, because it was the only room that was getting light at all. Like, trees were falling. It was the only time. Thank God. I 
like I can handle like wind and like the rain and like thunder and like whatever, but I'm just terrified of like tornadoes because I live in the south, motherfucker. So like I'm not living like tornado alley, thank fucking god. But I just nope, nope. That is shit. That nope, mm mm, terrifies me. Um. Along with like fires, the idea of fires, we we know this. Like, oh my god! See now I'm gonna I'm gonna be paranoid for the rest of the fucking night. I got sneeze. Hold on. Aha! Ah, it is. Mm. My weird thing with fires is I was like, like, how do, did I die in the past life? But, you know, I was probably burned at the stake for being a witch. There you go. <laughs> like, uh, that would make sense. But, uh, yeah, no, but like, usually we're the epicenter of no weather, which is nice because hurricanes, tornadoes, everything usually goes around us. We really don't get it that bad. Thank God. But it means that thunderstorms, you hear a thunder in the distance, and you're like, yeah, and the thunderstorm kind of goes around you. And it might rain, like we get a lot of rain, but we don't usually get the thunder that goes with it. You hear it in the distance. But like, I grew up in Florida as a kid, so but most of my life not there. But like, at just always so many thunderstorms so much that like i grew up with thunderstorms from like as like like a young child like before high school <gasps> so i don't know i just love them i've never been afraid of them i always loved them you know like i don't like driving in them obviously like nobody does like who the hell likes that not the especially not the florida ones because it's like literally driving in a goddamn river and we get that here every once in a while like, I was actually looking forward to it raining when I was at my sister's house a couple weeks ago. And I was like, yeah, it'll rain and my car will get clean. Is she still standing on the stairs dancing? She's just stuck here. Can you, like, go here? Oh, God, she can't walk upstairs. So she's been stuck. She walked down there. But she's been stuck there. <laughs> Constantly. I thought she, I'm like, okay, she's just dancing. No, she's stuck there. Fucking weird. Because I was actually shocked she climbed down the stairs. Because I was like, wow, her motor skill is that high that she can do that? No, no, it's not. All right, so. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to sleep. You also need to sleep. Okay, now go sleep. Not nap, sleep. It's 12 a.m. Sleep. He couldn't because Noir was going to sleep. Like, like, he can't use it at the same time, but that's okay. Wait, okay, never mind. All right, you are falling apart. Can you seriously go pee? Go get something to eat, and then we're going to need to go to bed. And then we will sleep because you can't sleep on your own. You're actually okay. And what's your deal? You're hungry, so... <gasps> Hello, Grandpa Morgan. Oh, Morgan, your grandfather. Actually, you're a great-grandfather, Morgan, because... Like, these are your children. Your great-grandchildren. That's cute. It's adorable. I love it. <laughs> See how long, like... Look at this. <laughs> Your great grandfather, and soon you'll be your great great grandfather, and then we'll add a Morgan back in, and then we'll just keep. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm not actually kidding. Soon all of my games will quite literally be related to Morgan, and that's because I love Morgan and his genetics. I mean, hello. Morgan's genetics. Thank you very much. Yes, this is your grandson, but look at how fucking gorgeous he is. Like, Morgan, your genetics keep getting better and better as they go. Because, like, Morgan, you're gorgeous. And Gilderoy was, like, a little clone of you. But, like, you're like, wow, he's like... Morgan, I didn't think you could get prettier. He got a little bit prettier, and then he got even prettier. And now, who knows? Like, our, who knows if our kids are going to look like Morgan or look like Akira and Yusuke. Who knows, but... <laughs> Morgan's like, um... Galileo, your boyfriends are strange. We don't care if you don't approve, Grandpa. Yeah. All right, you need to go pee. And then grab something to eat. 
Okay, so we're just not going to do any of this. You're making food. Do we not have food? Why is she still awake? Oh, she's actually fine. All right, well, anyway. More choices open. Do we not have food? We do have plenty of food. Okay, let's take out this because Futaba's going to need food. Let's have you grab a serving of the salad when you're done peeing. Okay, salad, pee, and then we'll go to bed. Cook mac and cheese. No, go fuck yourself. Stop doing that. Okay. And then you can also go to bed probably when you're done eating your grilled cheese that you just make for yourself, not for everybody. Whatever. Fine. Everybody's birthday! Okay. We do have a cake, right? So I'll take that out. Open. We'll get our cake out because we're going to need it for all of your birthdays. There we go. Um... All right, yeah, you're tired, but I don't think you, if I go go to bed, you don't, no, you don't go to bed. That's annoying. Sleep. I don't know why my Sims won't sleep. Oh, all right, hold on. Are you going to bed? You are. And then we will turn this on warmer because it's cold. It's now winter. It's fall. Sorry, whatever. Like, literally, I'm not even kidding. Like, my allergies have been perfectly fine. And then, like, earlier today, I was they were, like, driving me bonkers. And then, like, I was fine. And now it's like I'm having a fit again. It's really weird. Um. All right. And then we're going to put you to sleep, too, so we can kind of super speed. So you can go back to You can go to sleep when you're done eating. No, can you hear the thunder? Like, rumbling? It's fucking amazing. Anyway. You go to sleep, and then the kids are probably going to wake up soon. 5 a.m., which is ridiculous, but it's Monday, so. Oh, we can't super speed, because Morgan's here doing shit. Okay, when you wake up, I'm going to need you to take a shower. No, stay in bed. Okay, good. Just setting things up. Morgan fell asleep on the couch, sitting up. That's so cute. Okay, you're getting something to eat. What are you doing? You're watching TV. Okay, you're fine otherwise. School for them starts in an hour. Start practicing your hiding. Okay. You should probably... Why don't you come take a shower before you have to go to school? You're going to have to go to school in a minute. But your hygiene's getting a little bit lower. I just would prefer you to get a little bit... Just a quick, quick shower. Okay, you gotta get out and go to school. Okay. And let's see, how are you doing? You're uncomfortable, because I hate that. I miss having that fucking uh, mod in, but... Ari! I'm sneezing again. The thunder is really, like, fucking great. I hope you can hear it. You probably can, but... Oh, wait, Galileo's got to go to work? Oh, Galileo, no, I'm going to have you, um, take a vacation day. Because your bar is glowing first, and then you can finish. Um, because, who's getting called? Um, do a thorough health check. And then we'll age you up because you're glowing. So we'll age you up as you start to glow. So then we'll come down and have you taste the frosting. And then Yusuke and Akira, you're not glowing yet, so we'll wait on you guys. I gotta sneeze again, I'm sorry. It's like really bad, like... I don't know if it's just the change in pressure from, like, the thunderstorm coming in. All of a sudden, that's just like, hey, now I can't stop sneezing and my nose is stuffed up and, like, I have to constantly blow my nose. Like, what the fuck is happening here? I don't know. It's weird. (gasps) 
Yay. Sure. He's like, ooh, yeah. And then we'll add birthday candles back to this. Oh. Yay! Oh. <laughs> add the birthday candles. And uh, what food do we have in here? Oh, why don't you? Magic, spells, grandilicioso, see what we make. Do something decent, would you? Oh, spaghetti's good. Magic, spells. Spaghetti, fish and chips. Could you make a salad? I wish you could choose which. More fish and chips. Okay. Can we do one more? No, not go here. Whoops. Could you make something healthy? Like a salad? Not fish and chips? Pasta primavera. Okay, well, whatever. We got lots of pasta and fried fish in the house, I guess. So we're all gonna get fat, but like, whatever. Um, alright. So how are you doing? Oh, you're about to age up too. Alright, let's go get you aged up. You're coming up here. No, no, dear. You need to... Blow out the candles! Yay! is gonna be an adult too! Oh, it's so cute that we all have the same birthday. Celebrating our birthdays at the same time. There you go! Good job! And is Akira glowing? Because he should be. Yes, he is. Come up here and... Make a wish! Look, we can see them in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I was just entertained by it, okay? It's like seeing our beautiful Sims. Yay! Yusuke is like, I'm out. That's kind of rude, Yusuke. He is your friend. Oh, no, he's celebrating. Good for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then add birthday candles. And now you can go pee. Narlis Tulane. Everybody's aged up. Now the next birthday is Futaba's on Wednesday, which we'll may be able to get to in the next part. Obviously, we're not getting it here, but, um, okay, so we can put that away. You guys are good. Okay, you're going pee. What do you need to do? You also need to go pee. Okay. And you need to grab something to eat, so why don't you eat that? Finish that up. Huh. Bills! Oh, jo oh, wait, who called? Hold on. I couldn't reach your mailbox. <laughs> Whatever. I bet you could have if you tried. All right, let's come here and pay our bills. Um, Neville, I have two boyfriends. I don't need a third one. God. I tell my friend how great you are. This is set at warmer, right? Okay. I tell my friend how great you are and they want to date you. Neville, I have two boyfriends. I know, but you need a better one. Look at that beautiful umbrella. That's so you. Get the mail. And... Vote on neighborhood action plans. Let's see what we got going on in this neighborhood. Nothing for spellcasters, unfortunately. Vampire shit. Mm -hmm. What's coming in? Okay, so rock your body. What's coming up? Free love. Alright. I mean, juice community sounds fun. But free love also sounds fun. Hmm. You can gain influence through rom romance interactions. Sure. It won't matter because we're non-jealous, so if, you know. You scare, are you sick? We're gonna get rid of that. Why are you overheating? Why? Yusuke, baby, sweetie, honey, darling. Yes? <laughs> He may be the poor man's Yusuke, but I still fucking love him. He's still gorgeous. <laughs> He's, like, oh. pretty and adorable at the same time. Oh my god, are you gonna come sit down here with them? Please come sit down here with them. Oh my god, it's gonna be so adorable. We need to change you and put you... Dresser. Change outfit. We'll put you in this one. <gasps> ah, look at all of our boys chilling out! Galileo and his boyfriends. How adorable. Why are you standing up, Yusuke? Yusuke! You just ruined everything. Yusuke, you ruined everything! I mean, he kind of... Oh, but he's going to go check on his baby. That's cute. He's like, I have to check on my little girl. 
Must check on the child. We do know there's a toddler in the house. Do we? Do we, Yusuke? She's fine. She's self-sufficient. Look, he looks so proud of himself. He's like, I got up to check on the toddler all by myself. I am proud of myself. Yeah, you are, aren't you? So proud. So proud of himself. And we're watching her, pretending we give a shit. Moochie <laughs> peachy. Moscalva. Miss Herb. I just like how proud of himself he was. He was like, uh, yes. I came up here to check and make sure the toddler was okay before anyone told me to. Now I'll go back downstairs. <laughs> he just wanted to watch fucking TV by himself. He's like, fuck yeah. Just wanted to be by myself. And they, they came down and that's great. I'm like, look. Akira's my friend. Galileo's my lover. But like, I just wanted to be by myself. And they came down and I was like, all right, let's go check on the toddler. Are you up checking on the toddler? Goodbye. Oh, now he's got fucking ADD and he's over here on the computer. Okay. <laughs> now he's like, but then now they're up the stairs talking and feel like perhaps I should talk. Did you know that someone is controlling you? Yes. Yusuke is pretty fucking perceptive. He knows about us. He knows we're watching him. Giving him his best life. <laughs> also, he's paranoid, so he would believe about us. Anyway. <laughs> he doesn't have any oh, wow, you really have no relationship, no romantic relationship with Yusuke. I mean, I guess that's good for Galileo. He's like, sweet. Mm. Her relationship is pretty good with everybody. I mean, it's perfect with Yusuke and Akira, and they're pretty much almost the same with all the kids. Not as much with Futaba, but she's the baby, so she's... Of course, we don't have as much friend. But, like, they definitely have closer relationships to their individual, actual birth children versus the stepkids? Non-parental children? I don't know. Noir's got a project... Um, is he the only one? I swear it, Morgana should have a project too, probably. Let's actually put our projects out. We need more lights down here. I swear it got so dark. Okay. Why don't you come here and start working carefully? You should also come down here and start working carefully. Who's calling you? Actually, yes. And then they will help their children. Um. With the projects. <laughs> Sorry, to blow my nose again. Okay, so. Ah. Assist with project. Uh -huh. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you're going to go eat. All right, go eat and then assist with project. Oh, never mind. All right, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll cheat your needs up so that you can help your kids. Do, do, do. Everyone's good. What are you doing? You are... Neville spread some juicy gossip about who now? About Albus. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Why don't you... More choices. Wander. Because we need to get your skill up so that you can walk better. Well, you have a movement skill of two. I don't know what the hell your problem is then. Anyway. <gasps> Why don't you go play with Futaba then? Why don't you go over here? More choices. Friendly, hug her lovingly, and play. There we go. Yeah, it's like, you just called us. We love you, Neville, but you just called us. So anyway. You guys, why are you still wearing your winter outfits? Change outfit, put on your every day. We'd also have you put on your outfit. Secret under dresser. Change outfit, put on your every day. The dads helping their kids. Zoom. Shh. Meanwhile, the kids are chatting to each other, and the parents, the fathers, are doing their job. 
No, nope, can't see him this way. It's better over here where you can see everybody. Get an angle where you can see everybody. Everybody working together. Yusuke's the only one working. He's just chatting. You're not even doing anything and it's just magically appearing. What are you doing? Are you still waiting to like... Oh, no, you just gave up, I guess. Oh, no, you did play with her. I just missed it. It's alright. It's fine. Why don't you come down here, too? Oh, she was going to go down here to dance to music. Oh, okay. Never mind. She was on her way. I didn't think she was, but... Everyone will be down here together. Everyone has a child to play with. Look at that. <laughs> There's a child for everyone. That sounds really gross, actually. They're not pets. Like, Oh. So our siblings are over here. Look. Aw, that's cute. Put that in your inventory. Free love. Yay. Oh, he did a volcano. Good job. Excellent quality. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, she just pooped herself. So. Anyway, let's come over here and more choices, toddler care. Change your diaper. Oh, and then you need to go grab something to eat. Oh, oh. What the? I know it's free love, but I'm not... No, no, you're not doing that with our fucking brother. No, you're not. No, you're not. You go to sleep. Holy shit. I know it's free love, but like... Fuck. Stop with our siblings. Holy Christ. I mean... There's... Oh my god. No? <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this part up here uh, and hopefully stay the hell away. I'm just going to have to, like, teach you a thing or two. Like, I don't even know what's happening. Free love is a bad thing. Like, are you going to make out with Yusuke? No, okay. You were just going to chat. Good. Have you been texting my babe? No. I don't even know who your babe is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Free love got enacted and the weirdest shit is happening now. Oh, Lord. Why are there, like, a million cakes? Oh, dear God. Can you clean that up and throw that away? Clean that up. Oh, my God. Dear God, people. Anyway. I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.